Alrighty, so this is going to be my <clears throat> Algebra 3. Um, basically, just going back over some of the stuff. So what I'm going to do is uh, upload this video. This is going to be my class lesson for Friday uh, 18th. Um, okay, so we're going to use box method to multiply for this first one. So I'm gonna, I have two examples for this, so you guys are going to have to do these ones. All right, so what we have here is we're going to go through and multiply these things. So the box is already set up, so I'm taking a look at what I have. So I'm going to put my numbers, so it's a positive 1, negative 3x. That's too big. There we go. Um, sorry. So positive 1, negative 3x, and then 2x squared. So this one right here stays empty. Don't worry about that piece. And then my multiplying, I'm going to multiply this. So this one's going in the top. So 2x cubed and positive 5x squared minus 2x and uh, positive 4. So I have all these set up so I can go through and actually just do the multiplication. And then we're going to combine like terms. So I'm going to change up my colors here too. So we can actually see where everything's going. So I'm going to start going down. So I'm going to do this and this. So I multiply and the box that is in between 4. And that's going to give me x to the, and I add exponents. So it's x, x, so x squared, x cubed. So together give me x to the fifth. And then I do it again going down. Next one, so I'm doing this one now. So it's going to be a negative 6x to the fourth. Like I said, I'm adding exponents, 3 and the 1. And then times this one here. So it's going to be 2x cubed. Now I'm going to go over to the next, so move over to the right, so it's up and down. So right here and here again, so it's 10x to the fourth, and then multiply down, so it's going to be a negative 15x to the third, and then down, so times here, so it's going to be 5x squared. Next one, so now, now I'm going to actually go here and here, so it's negative 4x cubed, uh, keep going, so negative 3, negative 2, that's going to give me a positive 6x squared, x1, x1, x squared, and then a negative 2x right there for that one, and I'm all the way over here now, so I multiply those, so it's going to be a uh, 4 times 2 is 8, and then x squared, and then moving down, right here, so now that's going to be a negative 12 x and then my last one, 4 times 1 is 4 now again I'm going to change up my colors so we can actually see where I'm going so x to the fifth, there's only one of them there so I'm going to write that out, so my 1 x to the fifth so it's 4 x to the fifth and then now I go to the next one so I have my x to the fourth, which are here and here. So right there, so that add those two together. So when I add those two numbers, I'm going to get a negative 6 and a positive 10, which a positive 4x to the fourth. Okay, next one is going to be my x to the thirds. So here's x to the third, x to the third, x to the third. So we go through and we can go ahead and combine those together. Uh, positive 2, negative 15 is negative 13. So negative 13 minus 4 is negative 17. And this is all going to be my x cubed. Negative 17x cubed. Um, let's go down to the next one. So 5x squared, 6x squared, and 8x squared. So all those are going to be positive. So it's going to be 5 plus 6 is 11. Plus 8 gives me... Uh, 19. So I get a positive 19x squared. And then let's see where we at now. Right here and here, just the x's by itself. So I have a negative 2 and a negative 12, which is going to give me a negative 14x. And then my last term, which should be my constant all by itself, is going to be a positive 4. So, 
there it is right there. I have multiplied those together. Okay, using the box method, I went through, combined like terms. Okay, so now, this is the multiplication and then we're gonna do the division. So there's some practice to go along with this. And then we're gonna do the division coming up here in a moment. Um, so the next page, you have practice on the multiplication. You're gonna be multiplying these. So I have, uh, I have a three, so x cubed, um, I'm sorry, x squared and an x squared over here. Again, these ones are binomial, so it's two of them times this. So the, the boxes are gonna be smaller for you on, on this one right here. But uh, three and four, they are gonna be a little bit bigger. Um, okay, so now we're gonna get to the division. So division, so we're gonna divide this into factors. So by factors, I mean I want linear factors. I don't want have any x squared. I just want to have just my straight up x's. So I'm going to start with uh, right here. So this is going to start off here. So I have my uh, positive 2x and a positive 5. There we go. We have 2x plus 5. If you notice, there's empty right here for the box, but I just left it. Um, now the next thing is going to be this. This is my gimme. So that's my gimme, so that means that has to be my answer for this one right here. So that's going to go 10x cubed. So now let's go back to the multiplication part. So that's going to be what's going to be on top. So it says something times 2x is 10x cubed. So something times 2 is giving me 10, so that means it's 5. So I have 5 right there, and then I have x here but it's x cubed. So that means that I have a one right here that implies that there's a one, and this one gives me a three, so I need an x squared because I need to add my exponents to get my x cubed. So now, so in my division, I was able to get this here. Now, now that I have that, now I can multiply it down. So I multiply it down, so it's gonna be my five times five x squared, so it's 25 x squared. And then I go over again. So now I look at my next term right here. Here's my next term. So that says negative 3x squared. But I already have a positive 25x squared. So I need to add together something to get a negative 3. So the negative is bigger, so I need to have more than this. So I'm going to need a negative, and that's going to be a 28x squared because if you notice on the previous one, these are x squareds and x squareds. So this is my x squared. They're all gonna, these, uh, these right here are my x squared. So they have to combine together. So they have to be the common variable there. So x squareds go with other x squareds. So now to get that, to get that one right here, I look at this box. So it says something times two x gives me negative 28 x squared. So let's start with the something out front. So something times two gives me negative 28. So that something should be a negative 14. And then the x here, so I have an x1, but this over here is x squared, so I just need one more x. So it's x the first. So it's x1, x1, so that's x squared. So now I'm working my way down. So now since I'm working my way down, so it's 5 times negative 14 is a negative 70x. Okay, so there's negative 70x. So the next one is right here. So it's going to be my x's, so they have to add up to be uh, negative 76. So I already have a negative 70, so all I need is another negative 6. So a negative 6x to add those two together, this and this, to be negative 76. So from there, we have that this is going to end up becoming um, something times 2x has to add up to that. So something times 2x, so something is going to be a negative 3. So they, let's get that right there. So my first coefficient, so it's going to be a negative 3. And then I already have an x right here, right? So if there's already an x, that means that the x is already taken care of. I don't need an x. So my x is already there. So there we go. So it's negative 3. Now it's negative 3 times 5 is going to be a negative 15. So, again, I'm going to go with what I did last time. So let's go through and start looking at this. So my answer should be this one right here. This is my answer. So this is one of my factors. 
and this is my answer. So now I have to look at that. So I want linear factors. I don't want x squared. So I'm going to have a 5x squared minus 14x minus 3. So there's several ways of doing this, and I'm going to show you guys a pretty straightforward way. So it's not like super fancy. It's just one of those things that do happen. So I'm going to label my numbers. This is an A, this is a B, and this is a C. So I'm going to say my A is a 5. I just want the number. Uh, B is negative 14, and C is negative 3. So there, there's a pattern to this. So this is you know, factoring a trinomial with you know, other means. So we look at this. So the, the process looks like this. So A times C is equal to some number. And then it's got to be A plus C has to equal my B value. Yeah, that should be a little B. Sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to use that information. So I'm going to go and put those numbers together. So I'm going to put the numbers together now. So it's going to be a times c. a times c is negative 15. So now I have negative 15. So what numbers, that's what these are right here. So, so what times what is going to give me negative 15? So I basically only have these, or I also have, so it's a negative 3 times 5, or I could also use a uh, 1 times 15. That also works. But one of them has to be a negative to make it a negative. So let's see. And they have to add, add up to my B value, which is negative 14. So that's where I'm getting all that information from. So I got this right here as a pattern, and I have this right here. So now, given, given this, I know I'm probably going to have to use this. So if it's a negative 14 here, I know that this has to be a negative 15. So when I add those together, that's going to be a positive 1 and a negative 15. So when I combine those together, it's going to give me a negative 14. So now it's going to be called factor by grouping. So this is another way of factoring. Um, this is actually part of it. Some of you guys might have learned the X method or different boxes or whatnot. So I'm going to use this. So it's going to be a 5X squared plus 1X, and that's this one right here. And the next one is this one right here. Because these are both going to be my middle term. My B value has X's. So it's going to be a minus 15X. And then bring down my negative 3. So all I did is I took my negative 14X. And I expanded it into two separate. So if I combine these terms again, if I combine these back together, it's still going to give me my negative 14. So that, that works. So now I'm going to do this. I'm going to group them together two at a time. So I could take out an x from this first one. I'm left with 5x plus 1. I'm going to take out, so 5 and 15 and 3. So they both have a common factor of a negative 3. So because this is negative, that's negative. So I'm going to take out a negative 3. And I'm left with 5x and that's going to become a positive because if I divide by a negative, that makes that a positive 1. So now I have these both in common. So that means that's one of my factors, 5x plus 1. And my other factor is what is left over. My leftovers are x minus 3. And then I bring down my answer that I started off with, and that's going to be my 2x plus 5. So that's one way of doing it. And then there's another way, which uh, uses box method, but it you have to know the values already. And so that's the reason why I use this method, because it helps out, because otherwise you don't know what the other piece is missing. So this one right here is my answer, and these are what are called linear factors. That means it's going to be x to the first. So linear factor means x to the first. Okay, so now, if you notice, I did the box method for the first one, okay, because it's a longer division, and then factoring a trinomial, because I only had this to work with, 
only this to work with. I didn't have another value that I had to factor out or it already gave me a factor. I just had this and it said factor it. So let's see what I have here. And now you're gonna have four of these problems also right here, so some of them. So I start off by giving you one of the factors on each one and then you're gonna have to factor the last one. Factor the trinomial into linears. Okay, so don't forget, like, share, and subscribe.